Temperature is the measure of heat content in the atmosphere. We measure temperature regularly on Mount Washington to see how cold it can get and to learn what is typical over time. Temperature is measured at weather stations all over the world, usually with automated digital thermometers. At the Mount Washington Observatory, human beings have been reading and recording the temperature using mercury or alcohol-filled glass thermometers every hour going back to 1932. We do it this way to be confident that temperature data we are collecting is consistent over time. On Mount Washington, we measure temperature by using a set of thermometers, one of which being our sling psychrometer. So every observation, we come outside and we use our sling psychrometer. How we use it is going to be slinging it around in a circle like this. So our sling psychrometer has both what's called a dry bulb temperature, which you can see is just a regular thermometer down on the bottom, and then a wet bulb temperature. And our wet bulb thermometer up here has a sock on it that has been saturated with water. And the purpose of slinging it around in a circle is going to be to evaporate whatever water is on that sock. And we end up getting two different temperatures. One is just the air temperature, and then the other is going to be able to give us dew point and relative humidity. We also use a maximum and minimum thermometer every six hours to get the maximum and minimum temperature from that period of time. So the first thing that we read is our min thermometer, which is going to be our top one here, which is alcohol filled because alcohol has a lower freezing point. And we have our black barbell, which gets pushed back by that alcohol thermometer and it reads our minimum temperature for the past six hours. So we read our temperature and then we reset by allowing the barbell to fall down to the current temperature and then come back up. The maximum thermometer here, which is a mercury filled thermometer, we can see the mercury all the way going up to our maximum temperature for the past six hours. And how we reset the maximum after reading it is spinning it in a circle. Now this allows the temperature to reset itself. And then we rehook it for the next six hours to get its reading. Uh. Digital thermometers are used just in case of emergency, or maybe we can't get outside for an observation, or to verify what we are getting by our manual thermometers. The most extreme temperatures in either side of the spectrum would be our warmest temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit set back in August of 75, and minus 47 degrees Fahrenheit set back January of 1934. We take our temperatures in the shade to make sure that there aren't any outside influences of maybe a warming area from the sun. And so we keep that consistent across the board by taking our temperatures at the same place in the same conditions. There are many different scales used to measure temperature. We use Fahrenheit here in America, where 32 degrees would be the freezing point of water. There's also Celsius, which is used widely in the science community, where zero would be the freezing point of water and 100 being the boiling point of water. There's also the Kelvin scale for temperature, where zero is the absolute zero with no temperature below that amount. On Mount Washington, when it is extremely cold, we do have to bundle up head to toe. You do not want any exposed skin because it will feel painful going outside in that type of cold weather. You can imagine holding an ice cube and it gets painful after a while. The same thing occurs on any exposed skin when you go outside in these extreme cold conditions.